people, it's me Pretzel, and last time I built this copper farm, but it is largely unsuccessful, um, which is a bummer, uh, because this one took a lot longer to build <laughs> than the one in the end did, though luring zombies to that one does take a long time, which is why I wanted to build this one in the first place, but it hasn't worked. Um, mostly because I haven't been able to get zombies into the farm to start it going in the first place. Um, I've spent a couple nights, uh, Minecraft nights, uh, waiting for zombies to spawn, but I can only ever get, like, one or two, uh, to spawn and then get them in the farm. And then they never call for reinforcements. Um, it might be because it's so high up in the world. We're at 259 right here, and mobs don't like to spawn very often high up like this. See, we're even above the clouds. <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe that's, that's the problem, but I can't exactly do it lower because, uh, I mean... I don't know. I don't know. Terrain and stuff was weird. Um, but I thought, you know what? I need... But I thought, you know what? I need a different kind of farm. One that doesn't rely on, uh, at least not completely on reinforcements. And one that I won't have to refill uh, manually every time. And so I had this idea that maybe I find a zombie spawner somewhere in the world. Maybe I can get lucky and uh, locate two that are close together. Um, and then I can set it up so that they all funnel in to that, uh, little ENX041 and set up a uh, reinforcement platform so that the zombies have time to turn into ground and also have plenty of opportunity to call reinforcements. And in that case, it would be, whoa, frames are weird down here. Okay. Um, because if I did that, I would not only have a constant supply of zombies from the spawner, or spawners, but also, uh, I'd be completely out of the mob cap. So I wouldn't even have to worry about lighting up the caves around it, because, uh, if it had, if I had to use a spawner to make this farm, I, it would have to be pretty far underground. They don't spawn in the sky. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to head over to Chunk Base and see if there's any possible way I can do that in my area. And Chunk Base has led me to this spot right here. And as you can see, I can pretty easily activate both of these zombie spawners at the same time. And also, the loot in here was pretty good. I have, hold on, uh, in here I got, I just got these on the way digging down. Um, but look, I got a couple water, a few water protection books that amounts to about water protection three, which will be nice if I ever lose that hat somehow. Um, but yeah, I think right now, I'm going to start carving these uh, dungeons away and make them workable for what I'm about to do.
All right, so I think it took about half an hour to get a stack. Um, I've turned off the hostile mob sounds. If it's a bit framey, it's actually because I just logged in. But one thing that I think helped based on uh, the replay footage, oh my goodness, there's a lot of mobs right there, is, did I turn it off? I did not turn it off. <laughs> Uh-oh, hold on, hold on. I have, I need to turn it off before I uh, go in there. Uh, there we go. One thing that definitely helped based on the replay footage, ah, was this spot right here. Now, if I just hit these guys, you might see some more guys coming out from there, or maybe not. Either way, it's fine. All right. Oh. Okay, I basically just expand, had a line right here, and then I just expanded it. Because one of the spawning places is just the line going out from, in the four directions from the spot where the drowned is hurt. But another one is the basically an entire plane. I don't know how big the plane is, but it uh, just all this area right here. And I don't know how far back it goes. I will have to look that up. Um, but based on the replay footage, plenty of reinforcements were spawning over here and supplementing what was coming in from just the spawners. If I wanted to make this even faster, which would be great, um, <laughs> I would take my pick. Uh, first of all, I'd look up how, how big the plane actually is. And then I would go down here and basically carve the whole thing out. And I wouldn't even have to worry, honestly, about uh, skeletons and creepers because those guys wouldn't even pathfind to me and they wouldn't uh, hurt the... Uh, they'd be in a completely separate mob cap. I mean, I'm pretty sure the reinforcements don't even have a mob cap. So, it wouldn't, it wouldn't even matter. <laughs> I don't even have to worry about lighting it up. Though, I probably should hook up some lights in the floor to be turned on at the same time these are turned on, just so that something like that doesn't happen whenever I want to go and uh, uh, expand it. Okay, actually, I just uh, checked uh, Ian and Sofor's uh, video description, <clears throat> and apparently, um, Making a huge spawning thing for the reinforcements is not a good idea. So, um, because it would just produce excess zombies and bring a lot of unnecessary armor into the farm and actually slow it down. So, instead, I am going to try running it with uh, an auto clicker because that will be more effective than just uh, counting myself, because honestly that's what I was doing, uh, and it's, it's uh, a, a bit of a hassle. So I'm going to come in here and do, uh, I set it to 50 ticks, and do this. I don't know. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Okay, this isn't working. Oh, I see. I didn't. Uh, that should work.
All right, so I let the auto auto clicker run the farm for about two hours, and uh, I only uh, came back a few times to, for one thing, eat, and another thing to use uh, the culling stick, which which I've just been using my pokey stick uh, because it has the same effects as the uh, culling sword on in on the tutorial. If I were to take out about how much I had in my inventory to start off with, we get almost five stacks an hour, which if you made a farm like this yourself, it would probably have a different rate because it all depends on your server and I guess the environment around you in this sort of thing. Oh, I also got a bunch of feathers. I think I started out with like, I don't know. But yeah, we get chickens in here sometimes, which is, <laughs> which is literally my only source of feathers. <laughs> uh, but it's funny. Not that I need feathers at all, basically. Um, but yeah, that is pretty decent. And I'm pretty happy with that. And I won't have to worry about restocking this farm at all because we've got a spawner over there and a spawner over there to make sure we get a constant flow of zombies all the time. So that problem is solved. And now with that done, it's time to move on to the next thing. Which, since I'm doing copper stuff today, I think a honey farm is in order. But first, I'm gonna head on in here because Jeff told me he left some netherite in here for me. And <laughs> it's right on top of the bed. Uh, oh wow, this takes a while to mine. Thanks, Jeff. This is gonna come in handy. Oh, that's not the thing. Silly, Rachel. Okay, so let's just real quick apply that netherite to my tools. Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> but now I am completely netherite, except I'm gonna keep wearing my leather boots because uh, I can't. But yeah, back to the issue at hand. I need to get some honey going because this is looking just so messy, and I, I can't tell you how many times I've come over here and stripped- Oh, by the way, I've uh, decorated some stuff, added some storage, um, to make it look a little more professional. Yeah, but I've just been coming over here and shining it up because it just- always gets aging, which doesn't make sense because they're all really close together. Okay, that looks a lot better. Um, but I can only keep it that way if I get some honeycomb. So, what I'm thinking is I set up a honeycomb farm over by uh, the copper farm so that while I have K for copper, I can also get honeycomb. So, I'm gonna dig into my redstone box and gather up the stuff and build it up. Oh, um, I was heading back to the thing and I spotted a skeleton horse. There was a thunderstorm going on. This is probably a trap. Oh, <laughs> yep, it's a trap. Ooh. Okay, okay. Oh, they're fighting each other now. Oh no, I killed the horse. Got 
Okay. Now there should be one more. There it is. There we go. Sweet. I've got a few skeleton horses running around over here. Cool. Um. I'm a porcupine who needs a scowl. <laughs> uh. Okay. I'll be back to you guys. Uh, shortly. Okay. Um, but now I've got to find the entrance to... Ah, it should be over here. Uh, to the coffee farm. There it is. Ooh -wee. Okay. Now, I've got a bunch of stuff to build the farm with. And I'm pretty sure this is all I need. Alright, so I built it up and it by no means looks good at all. But... Uh, this is not a pretty farm, but um, all I'm missing right now is uh, the bee nests and uh, the shears. One of which will be really easy to get because I've got a whole box of iron right here. <laughs> and I'll just need like a couple more chests to make the storage a little bigger. Um, but uh, after I get those things in place, I should be good to go with this farm. But I'm going to put it on pause for here for right now and leave the bee gathering for next time because real life is calling. <laughs> so until then, I've been the Amateur Pretzel. Thank you for watching and stay hydrated. Bye. <laughs> uh.